In just a few months, the Nashville Farmers Market will look quite different. The building isn't changing, but the vendors who can be there will. New at 6.30 tonight, News Channel 5's Adam Gassimi explains a new rule just passed this week. And we have your card, too. So. Okay, that'll work. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. The Nashville Farmers Market has changed over the years, but never as dramatically as the way it's about to. We're moving to a producer-only model. Executive Director Tasha Kennard says a newly adopted rule means whatever is for sale has to be made by the person selling it. If you're an artisan with food-related products, food or beverage-related products, or craft or flea, you're going to have to present those products. Longtime vendors like Tim McKinney will have to reapply, but he'll likely be able to stay because everything he sells, he crafted by hand. That's my initial. Pops pottery. It's our living, you know, it's the way we survive. But Barbara Brooks isn't so lucky. The socks, shoes, and other items she's been selling for more than 30 years were made by someone else, so she won't be able to stay. I'm hurt because I don't know what I'm going to do. The idea is to rebrand the farmer's market as a destination for local and regional products with a diverse international experience. The change will be hard, but one canard says will be worth it. And we're going to work with our merchants that might fall out of our new standards and help them transition to new homes throughout the community. Joe Barnes says he declined an offer to move to the fairgrounds and is instead hoping to sell the produce he buys wholesale for as long as he can. I got some restaurants I deliver to. I'm going I'm to keep them if I can. But I'm, that's all I'll do. All vendors who are currently at the farmer's market will have to reapply to stay here under the new rules. And then by April 1st, everyone here will either be new or will comply. In Nashville, Adam Gassimi, News Channel 5 HD. Market leaders say they studied a number of other farmers markets across the country before deciding this was the way to go. The farmers market board made that decision on Wednesday.